ericmothethmother.com with weekend market analysis for the weekend of March 10th and March 11th, 2018. Let's take a look at markets here. We begin with a strong close on Friday where we see the NASDAQ closing at all-time highs. And we see the other markets also staging a nice finish to the week. All right, so what a, was a very strong week. Let's take a look at those charts. And this weekend, I'm going to be taking a look at the NASDAQ because it is the one that is showing the most power to the upside. And we can see what happens to a market that keeps going back and holding above 69.1 on the monthly. You can see this was responsible for this move here in the late 90s. We had another run here from 2003 to 2015 where we held above 69.1 and this market or the Nasdaq has been very strong since 2017 once it recaptured the 69.1 level on the monthly chart. So we've seen over the last couple of weeks we had an attempt to go lower but the market has gone back to fresh highs. Now, as long as we are seeing the major averages holding above 69.1, we know that these markets are going to be sideways at worst, bullish at best. We are going to get pullbacks, but they are not going to be lasting. Market is going to recapture and eventually test the highs. Here we can see a good example of this with the recent recovery of the recent pullback. Now take a look at the monthly chart for the NASDAQ and we can see that as long as the NASDAQ is staging a fresh breakout, the bulls are firmly in control. There is no other way of looking at this. As long as the NASDAQ is trading above the current or the previous monthly closing high 411.48 which goes back to this monthly closing high. As long as we are above that level, the market has an opportunity of recording even higher prices. Now visually, it would be similar to this level here where we broke out after one month of rest. Or we can say similar to this period here where we had a breakout after one month of rest. So, as long as we are breaking out, we have to assume that this market can actually continue moving higher. If the market is to drop, then clearly we would need to see a failed monthly breakout. In other words, the market would have to move back below this number for there to be visual evidence that the market is poised for a pullback. Now visually that would be similar to the period where we have this failed breakout attempt here, right here, where the market tried to break out and failed and that led to this pullback here. So until we see a failed breakout, we have to assume that this is a market that could actually see higher prices. Let's take a look at the weekly and we can see that the weekly chart here is also showing a breakout above the previous weekly closing high and the level to watch here is 7.5 0.77. So as long as we are holding above this price, it means that this market and the general market at large has an opportunity now to record an improvement to recent price levels. And we can use the same number because should we drop back below this price, that would indicate a failed weekly breakout which could be a red flag. So anybody wanting to short the market would want to see the market move the NASDAQ 
back below this number which would indicate a failed breakout otherwise as of the close we have to assume that this market wants to go higher as long as it is trading above this number now keep in mind we see that we had previously been bouncing on the RSI 50 and because of that uniform activity bounce markets been going back to test the highs and actually break out we tested the the RSI 50 here indication was that the market would test the highs it actually tested the highs and went higher we had uniform activity bounce back above the RSI 50 here indication was that the market would test the highs if not break out and now we can see over the last couple of weeks we came and held RSI 50 and we can see the market has come back to test the highs and actually decided to break out so as long as we are holding above 7505.77 we have to give the market the benefit of the doubt to move higher and again failure to hold above this level indicates that the market is due for a pullback same price level on the daily so same conclusion here on the daily the previous daily closing high was the same as the weekly so as long as we are above this price the market should remain strong and should we drop back below this price that's going to be a short-term sell signal now let me go back to the weekly chart because this is where we can start looking for reason why this market could pull back so number one the first if the market is to pull back the first order of business is for the bears to move the market back below the breakout level and so one more time the market would have to drop below this level and for that to take place and also we would need to see negative divergence we see an improvement with a fresh weekly closing high and we would need to see negative divergence before any aggressive move to be short so so the some of the visual cues we are looking for negative divergence and also a failed weekly breakout will set the stage for a market pulling back otherwise it's very i guess risky to try and short a market that is still successfully breaking out so i think the biggest thing to look for if you are looking for short opportunity is to wait for the nasdaq to fail on its weekly and daily breakout otherwise it's very risky to try and short a very strong market and if you are bullish as long as the market is holding above this price level you have all the reason in the world to be an aggressive buyer of the market i should also point out that if the market moves above rsi 69.1 on the weekly expect the market to pick up momentum to the upside it would be similar to this period here where the nasdaq went above 69.1 and we had this very strong multi-month rally so if the nasdaq moves above 69.1 on the weekly expect the market to pick up momentum to the upside now let me show you one line that could come in play there's a line here coming from the lows of 2016 we can draw at the previous RSI support line it should be something like that so it connects the lows here here and here so we can see that the market could be coming back to test the recent break in other words if this becomes resistance that could be another visual reason for a pullback just something to keep in mind that this could become a problem for the nasdaq and it could also coincide with our observation of negative divergence so let's just be on the lookout for that line 
if the market is unable to move above the previous break line that could become a problem again this is a previous support line on the weekly you draw it like that let's take a look at that daily chart show you something on the daily the Nasdaq on the daily also it's a level to watch here is this recent break we can see that break led to a pullback and so now it needs to clear this line here so failure to move above the blue line might be the beginning of the early signs that the market is due to stall now we also should be vigilant here because should we stall around current RSI levels then what that would suggest is an improvement day to day and that would form negative divergence so remember generally when you see a pullback of some size we you always see that there was negative divergence so should we see negative divergence plus a failed daily breakout then that is when we can become aggressive sellers of the market until then the market did close with a breakout we have to respect the potential for improvement in prices so in conclusion as long as we are breaking out on the daily on the weekly and on the monthly we have to respect the potential for upside if the daily or weekly or monthly eventually fail that would be a sign of a market that is due for a major correction eric mother mother com as always good luck peace and blessings e a c s